recently I started learning Turkish. I wanted to pick up a non-Indo-European language, and a friend and I agreed that Turkish might be fun. When I explained this to family and friends, I was met with a lot of quizzical looks and confirmation that Americans are indeed as bad at geography as the rest of the world suspects. Now, I don't expect everyone to know the term Indo-European, but it was almost comical that everyone reacted the same way. Trying to make a mental map and place Turkey on it, and then never ask what Indo-European meant. For the record, Turkey is considered intercontinental between Europe and Asia, and Indo-European is a language family. Language families, nothing to do with geography. Okay, if it has nothing to do with geography, what is a language family? It's, a, it's just like a biological family, grouping of languages with shared grammatical features and vocabulary and a common ancestor also known as a proto-language. Proto-languages are usually hypothetical or reconstructed and unattested. There is no record of them usually in the history, and they're created through comparative linguistics. There are 10 major language families, Afro-Asiatic, Altaic, Austro-Asiatic, Austronesian, Dravidian, Indo-European, Niger-Congo, Sino-Tibetan, Uralic, and Thai Kodai. And just like biological families, these larger families can be broken down into other families, or for clarity's sake, subfamilies. And if you include these subfamilies, the number of language families grows from that 10 major to between 150 and 250, depending on what source you ask. To illustrate how this works, let's start with English. English is part of the Germanic family. It doesn't mean that we get our words from German. German is a, a sister language. We share the same proto-language, which is known as Proto-Germanic. Proto-Germanic, in turn, shares features with its sister languages, uh, one of which would be Proto-Romantic, and their common ancestor is known as Proto-Indo-European, which is where we get the name for the Indo-European language family. All right, so I said that Turkish isn't Indo-European, but what is it? Turkish is part of the Altaic family, which includes Mongolic, Koreanic, and possibly Japonic languages. This means that Turkish and Korean, though geographically very far apart, have more in common than Turkish and its next-door neighbor, Greek. Of course, not every language has a family. These are known as isolates, and the most famous is Basque. And again, depending on your source, there are between 82 and almost 200 isolate languages. If you'd like to learn more about language families, there are some great resources on the web. Two that I found were the Ethnologue, which is an ongoing research project, to classify languages, and is the largest source of this information on the internet. And then there's also the Glottolog, which is by the Max Planck Institute of Evolutionary Anthropology, a similar site, but is a bit more user-friendly <clears throat> and specializes on lesser-known languages. Both sites are just absolutely wonderful rabbit holes to fall down for any language nerd. Links are in the description. Thanks for letting me share a word with you.